What's up people? So this morning I'm driving over here to Shoot Dang headquarters to feed all the animals and there was a song that was playing on the radio and the lyric said that if you have a chance, take it. Take it while you have a chance. If you have a dream, chase it because a dream won't chase you back. And uh, I don't know, it hit me. I've just been up and down here recently with the uh, sale of the property down in Texas. Just seemed like there's hurdle after hurdle I've having to get over and uh, I'm tired of it letting it keep me down and so I decided to reach out to the Dirksen dealer to get the information that uh, the realtor was requesting. I've tried calling several times before, no one ever answered. This morning I actually called and a lady answered and was actually able to give me all the information I needed. Uh, she forwarded all the stuff to me. I did send that over to the realtor so I'm waiting to hear back to see what we need to do from here. But I don't know, it just feel, felt good finally to have something go my way after so many different hurdles. and. Uh, it just felt like a, like I needed a fresh start, and that's why I felt like that song played for a reason. And I don't know, it's just it's has me in a good mood today. I'll just say that. And I think speaking of uh, being in a good mood and wanting a fresh start and all that, I want to go over there to my property and just start fresh. Um, there's an area that I want to have a carport. I need to go over there and do some dirt work because it's not level over there. And then also where the house is going to be at, I previously dug out all the holes for the piers. Um, I think what I want to do is just go back with the tractor and just start completely over, backfill everything, make the pad a little bit wider, make it a little bit more level, uh, just start completely fresh and uh, just live out my dreams. Uh, like that song says, if you have a dream, chase it because it won't chase you back. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm living in the woods where I want to be. I'm getting ready to build my dream house. Let's stop talking. Let's get to work. Boom, there you go guys. It is roughly 18 feet wide by 50 feet long, which is much bigger than it was before. It was previously 12 by 40. Uh, it's still not 100% level yet. I have to get the uh, box blade and go back in and make sure it's completely level. And then back behind you guys, I'm gonna be building uh, roughly a 20 by 20 carport. Uh, it should be plenty of room for at least one car or a truck. And then have like a lawnmower, a side-by-side, -side, a four-wheeler, something like that. And then I'll build a little overhang on the side to store firewood and stuff like that. But um, I did buy a handheld auger. Uh, the one for the tractor was just a little too expensive for me. So I went to Harbor Freight and picked up one for much cheaper. It should make the digging a lot easier. I believe it has a, a six inch auger on it, which should be plenty. I'm gonna do some uh, four by four post for the carport. I'm thinking if it's 20 by 20, I'll have three posts on each side and then one in the middle on the back, which would be seven total. Uh, cement those things in and then start building up from there. I needed somewhere just to park a vehicle and then to have all my tools while I'm building the house out. Uh, it'll be a lot of work, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. 
oh my gosh, you don't know how happy I am to get rid of those old holes. That's like erasing old memories that you don't want anymore and just starting fresh with a new clean slate. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, I got this whole side done over here. It did this side fairly easy. I got them down two feet. I just stuck some rebar in there just to line everything up. And then here's the corner over here under the tree. There was quite a bit of roots in this one, but I was still able to get through it. And then I had these two over here. This one had several roots in it as well, which I kind of figured we would since we're near some of these trees. And then this one was completely full of roots, but I was able to get that. These two over here are a different story. There's a lot of rock. I was only able to go down 
maybe about eight inches on this one. So I'm gonna have to try to hand dig it a little bit and hit it again with the auger. And then this one was the worst one. That's about as far as I got, cause this right here is almost like cement. That's how hard there's rocks and stuff here. I'm gonna have to try to hand dig this one out as well. All right guys, I was able to get the last two holes. I had to hit it with the post hole diggers for a little bit and then finally got through the rock. And then the auger did his business over here. So I got them all dug out now. All seven of them, they're all about two feet deep. I think tomorrow I'm gonna run into town, get some four by four posts and some bags of cement. And we're gonna start framing up this carport. I am freaking excited. All right guys, so overall I'm very pleased with this product. It's a Predator brand from Harbor Freight. Cost $250. It came with a six inch uh, drill bit. They also have an eight inch and a 10 inch at the store. I picked up this 21 inch auger extension shaft. It just helps extend the uh, bit down further so you don't have to bend over as much. But overall, I'm very pleased with this product. Uh, once you got through the rock, it went through the ground like nothing. And uh, it saved me a ton of time from having to use this post hole diggers the entire time. All right, guys, so comment down below. Let me know what you think of that auger. Uh, it doesn't seem like I did a whole bunch of work in today's video, but I've actually been outside pretty much most of the day doing a lot of dirt work. It takes a lot longer than you think. Um, I also didn't want to show too much of it because uh, I didn't want this video to be an hour long and be extremely boring. So I just want to give you guys just quick highlights of uh, what I was doing today. And uh, once again, I think that uh, that song came on the radio this morning for a reason. And it definitely put me back in the uh, the work mode, the, the hardest work in Crocker mode, as a lot of people always comment. But uh, yeah, anyways, this is probably going to be the end of the video for today. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to run into town tomorrow, pick up some 4x4 post, uh, probably some uh, 2x8s and 2x6s and try to start framing this thing up. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Get ready for a lot of building stuff. Uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a quick shower and relax. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.